Hey, do you have photo strips like these laying around somewhere or in a box um, that you've taken photo booth pictures with family and friends? Well, I do, I have a ton of them because I love the photo booths at parties and I love having them when we have a party, but then you end up with all these strips and you're not quite sure what to do with them or how to display them. So I'm gonna show you one idea I had and you can adapt it to other things too. And the greatest thing is you can use this for a Mother's Day gift or any other kind of gift. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. And I'm Teresa, this is Celebration Elevation and we're gonna get started right now. I'm heating up my glue gun. I have chosen the four photos that I'm gonna use. And obviously, I, you know, I have four places for them here. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this, I've taken the glass out and I've taken the back of the photo out, I mean the frame, sorry. And I'm just taking some cardstock and I'm going to just use a pencil and cut the exact size of cardstock that I want on here. I'm just gonna trace it so it fits exactly over my frame, the backing of my frame. I'm just gonna cut this up. And you can use any color you want, obviously, or you could use a pattern, whatever you like, whatever color combination you wanna go with. I'm just, I'm using this green and then I'm going to paint the frame using some chalk paint. I'm using antique white. This is Jolie paint. First things first though, I'm gonna stick this on here. So you could use whatever you want. You could use Elmer's glue, you could use, I'm just using some double back tape or you could use a glue stick. Any of that is fine. So this is just, yeah, double back like scrapbooking tape. And of course I cut the wrong size, but that's okay. I'm just gonna trim it. I think it would actually be easier if I just cut it with my scissors instead of trying to use the tape dispenser because it's not cutting very well. Okay. And you know, like I said, you could make this for a Mother's Day gift this year. There's still enough time left um or you could use it for something else father's day gift or a graduation gift you could have your graduate with some friends in these pictures and like i said you don't you could use any photos you want i just i love getting those pictures taken but then i'm not sure the best way to show them off and so i thought this would be a really good use of them and you know i'll try to think of some other ways too comment below if you if you want to see some other other ways of using them and i'll see if i could put my creative mind up to it and <laughs> this doesn't have to be perfect because the frame is going to cover part of it which is good because i think i cut it a little off <laughs> there is this so i'm gonna set that aside now i'm gonna paint the frame Oh, first thing I want to do is this came with this little thing on here. Obviously, I don't want this on here, so I'm gonna take that off. Maybe I'll save it for something else. I have a little bit of um, sandpaper just to um, take any extra glue off of here. Actually, it came off really easily, so I don't think I'm gonna need to sand it. That's a good thing. One last step. So I'm gonna take some of the Jolie paint. I shook it up really well. So I want to paint the frame and this little window frame to match. So I'm just gonna do this first. And I'm, I have rubber gloves on just because I make such a mess on my hands everywhere. <laughs> and I hate, a chalk paint is so easy to get off though. So it's not a big deal. I'm using it like a cream color and it was white. So it's obviously, it's not a big change. So you're not gonna really see too much change here but I just wanted to make sure that it actually does match the picture frame that I'm using. And so I took some photos out of a couple are from a graduate, one of my kids' graduation parties. I did them for all three of my son's graduation parties because I, I just thought it was fun for their friends and everything. Mostly for me, I think I'm doing it. If I'm being quite honest, it's because I love to do the, the pictures like that with family and friends. One is from 
my niece's wedding. I just wanted to get all of the grandchildren in there for my mother-in-law so I can give this to her. And I don't want to do like a, I don't need to do a perfect job of painting this because I'm going to kind of sand a little bit on it after it's dry to make it look a little bit rustic because if you've seen any of, my, any of my videos you know i kind of like that look if you are enjoying this video if you would hit subscribe below i would greatly appreciate that i'm trying to bring at least one video every week now so if you hit that little bell too that will notify you when a new video of mine has come out and so you can hit that. And if you like this one in particular, um, if you hit the thumbs up button, those things, it seems like unimportant, but any person on YouTube will tell you it's very important because the algorithms on YouTube let YouTube know that a particular person, their videos are being watched. And so it will suggest videos to to more people. Thank you. For those of you who've done it, thank you. I appreciate it. So you can see I've almost got this covered with the first coat. I probably will do a little, maybe another coat just because it's such a dark, well, it was black. So <laughs> when you're painting white over it or cream color over it, it doesn't cover as well. And even though I'm going to sand some of it, just give it a little sand on some of the edges to give it that rustic look, still I want it covered. I want it to look like it was originally completely covered and then just kind of wore down a little. I guess that's what we try to do with that rustic look, right? When we sandpaper the stuff over chalk paint or any paint. You could use acrylic paint too. This does, it doesn't matter. Okay, I am back. I actually got impatient with my frame and I took it into the bathroom and <laughs> I used my hair dryer on it. Cool setting, just use it on the frame and oop. <laughs> I forgot that was taped down. I was just trying to tidy up. Anyway, I used the hair dryer on the frame just to get it dry and then I put a second coat on it. So now I'm back to this. I just want to show you how I'm going to position the photos. So I'm just centering this on here. And I just want to mark where my photos are going to be. So I'm just going to very lightly, oops, um, mark where the squares are for this. So that I put the photos exactly where I want them because they're going to go down first. And even if they don't quite cover the entire square, if the photo is a little smaller, that's okay because we have this nice green paper behind it. So that'll be fine. Okay. So then I'm going to just decide what order I'm going to put the photos in. Actually, I think it's a little bit like this. Um, and then I'm going to cut some of the this adhesive strip, the double-sided adhesive, put it on the back, and then I'm just gonna tape it down over the square that I drew on there. So that's gonna look really cute. I can see a little bit of my pencil mark, so easy as that just to erase it. So then the last the last part for this is going to be to glue this on. I think I'm going to use, I was going to use my glue gun, but I think for this, I'm just going to use this adhesive double-sided tape, scrapbooking tape, I guess it's called. Let me just get the tape, the back of it off. There we go. Okay. Now I'm coming back here and I'm going to make sure I'm centering it and centering it with the photos as well. Okay, so that's very cute <clears throat> frame and just kind of show you how you can do it with a craft stick. So I will be right back. So here is my frame. It has dried now. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of um, the sandpaper and just kind of do a little bit of scuffing it up a little. And when I do this, I just do sort of edges and stuff like where it would normally paint would come off of it if it was like an old frame. It wasn't 
old nice frame and not just a dollar twenty-five frame from Dollar Tree. <laughs> but hey, it works. Okay, so <laughs> um, so it gives you the idea. Then what you can do too is sorry. Um, I like to use a little bit of finishing wax, which is, I like to just use the clear on this and you can just take a paintbrush and you're going to, sorry, I should have got that ready to show you. You're going to take one of your paintbrushes. This is a great paintbrush for, look at my dog shoot it, but this side is supposed to look like this. <laughs> so you take a little bit of your wax, like this, and then you're gonna, you're gonna put it all over your frame. It gives it a nice texture, and then it also protects the chalk paint from coming off. So this, like I said, this is just finishing wax. Um, it's the same company. Jolie paint. Um, they're not sponsoring me. I'm just telling you I like the product. So you're gonna put it all over here and it really does, it protects the, it'll feel different. It won't feel like that chalky finish that you have on here. Just make sure you get it all off so you don't get that on your photos or the glass or anything. So I'm just roughly doing it on here so you could see. Then I'm going to take a, take a cloth and wipe that off. And then I'll show you in just a minute what I'm gonna to do to finish this project off. Okay, so I figured this out for you so that you could make the same thing without having my little cute little window frame already ready for you. So what I did is I just made white backing with just white cardstock, and that you could do any color you want again. And then I took these craft sticks or popsicle sticks, <laughs> um, and these, I'm what I measured, you could do any measurement, but these happen to be, I, I was just going off of this frame that I already had. So it was three and seven eighths, and I'll put all these measurements for you in the description below. But this was, these were three and seven eighths each. And then the ones going across are four and one eighth inches. And so paint that, sand them a little and paint them and then do this. I'm just gonna show you and then I'll show you the finished product so that you, project, so you don't have to watch me do this, but I'm just putting them together like this. And this one will go here. Should I not do the other two? No. Okay. Then you're, then we're gonna need to do the middle ones. So if I glue these down, okay, I'm going to glue them down because I want, really want you to be able to, to see what this will look like so you could do it yourself. I know that's frustrating if you don't have the same things that the person showing you does. Oh shoot, I wanted to measure that. How far apart do I want it? Almost six inches. Okay, measure this instead of eyeballing it like I'm doing right now. And let's see if I'm putting this one here. And the other one's gonna go here, kind of building it from the inside out. Um, I'll mark it on here just slightly. Put some glue on here. that one down. Then this one will get glued on this side. And this one will get glued on the other end. Oops. Okay. No big deal if you get the glue on there because it will 
You can just rub it off when it dries. Okay, and then, I'm like I said, I'm not, I'm just trying to do this for, um, just for the sake of demonstration so that you can make this yourself. But like I said, I will put, I'll put all these instructions in the, in the description below with the measurements. But you're getting the idea. And then, then I'm just gonna measure off right here and I want it to be, oh, I gotta paint it. Real quick, paint it. Okay, then I want it to be um, here to here. And like I've said before, just do it a little bit longer than you want. So you have a little wiggle room you can sand there. Okay, then that's gonna fit down in there. And you can see my, um, oops, my pencil marks. Oh, I need some sand. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of, out of this video because I think I'm making it longer than I meant to. A little more. Oh my goodness. Okay, there, and then you, you can see my paint is there. And I don't want it to be, so I'm just gonna dab and dab, and now it's gone. Uh, and then this piece, which I should've just measured that, but no, okay. And about here. See how I did. A little bit of sanding on the edge. Okay, you see it's a very similar. And then you can just I thought I thought I cut out another photo so you could see what that would look like. What did I do with it? Oh there it is. So you're just gonna cut your <laughs> your photo so that it fits, or you can put your photo down first, which also would work too. That's probably, like I did on the other one, it's probably a good idea. Um, but there, you get the idea, it's gonna be like this. You're gonna put this over the top of it, and then your frame over the top of that, and you can paint your frame white if you want, or leave it black, whatever you, colors are endless possibilities. Okay, this one, I, I hope you are understanding that I just, I didn't do perfect on this one because I just wanted to show you how to get it done. Obviously, you're gonna wanna do sanding on those edges and everything else, but this is how it's gonna look for demonstration purposes, how you can make your own. This one, oops, I do want to put the glass back on it. And then I usually hit it with some glass cleaner first. Put the glass on it. Um, you can see my hand. This is why I was wearing gloves, but then I just forgot to put them back on and then that was the end of that. Okay, and then putting the back on. And voila, that's what it looks like. Very cute. And then what I'm gonna do, I think, is just do a little, oh, you know what? I wanna do a little of the Jolie paint on this and see how that looks. I'm gonna do, do my brush, here it is. I just wanted to get a little on here. This is just a foam rose. And that I had left over from something. And I think that looks kind of pretty with just dabbing some of the chalk paint on here. 
So you can kind of see the pink, but it's also gonna match the frame perfectly. And then I'll hot glue that on there and I will show you how it looks. <laughs> so that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am I really think this turned out cute and I think that's a great way to use your um, the photos from those camera, from those um, photo booths. Thanks a lot guys and I will see you next time. Bye.